it's about that time. Hello, I'm here with my friend and colleague, the one and only George Craig, chairman of the board at the Torrington Soup Kitchen, here tonight for the celebration of FISH, Friends in Service to Humanity, recognizing all the individuals, groups, and entities that helped them get through the pandemic. Glad to have you here, George. Thank you so much Thank for taking you, time out to talk to us. And uh, why don't you talk to our audience a little bit about the mission at the Soup Kitchen and how very, very vital it is at this particular time to support our food banks. Well, um, as, as COVID hit and the pandemic got worse, um, there were more and more people that were um, hungry, that were f food deprived. And uh, so we, we stepped forward. We couldn't bring people into the building due to the COVID, but we were able to set up like a McDonald's, a, uh, uh, a service through the door, through the window. So we were able to service people. We did see an increase in, in the amount of people coming through the door. Um, we also try to work, and we do work with all the other agencies, as we do with FISH, as we do with Friendly Hands, um, as we do with the Salvation Army. We really all are in it for one thing, and that is people helping people. And if you believe in Torrington and you believe in, in really what we can do as a society, it's, that's what it's all about. So um, I'm happy to be involved with you, Jacques, too, <laughs> and I'm happy involved with Danny. I'm happy to involved with what's going on in our community. And, and I feel it's, I like to take more responsibility of bringing all the agencies together so we're really working as one entity and not separate entities. So. And there's been so many times, George, where um, you know, I've seen you loading trucks, um, you know, passing out food, and you do this out of the goodness of your heart. And I think that that's another demonstration of the type of people that we have here in our community, which makes this community special. That's right. I, I agree with you, Jacques. I think, uh, I think it's not, not any one individual. It's not any one person. It's not any one group. It's, 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 it's a, uh, a union of people wanting to make it a better place to live. And, and Torrington has all the potential you could, that you would ever want in a city. And, and the people are givers. People in Torrington really do give back. And as we know, um, through that, we have a better, better village. And, I, and there's a lot of improvements to be made about that. But uh, I'm happy to be involved to, uh, to give back. To me, it uh, makes me just as happy as the person who's receiving it. So, and I know you feel the same way. Absolutely. So. Indeed, it is better to give than, than to, to receive. receive. No <laughs> doubt about it. You know, you can, you can work our food line. And if you have somebody comes in and he says... Uh, well, what is it like? Well, what are the people like that you serve? And I say, well, come on in. When we had the cafeteria open, come in. Go on the food line. We have three servers. We got meat, potato, and a vegetable. And I said, serve it. And uh, so when they serve on the line and they see the people that come through, it makes them question, you know, where people aren't taking advantage of the system. There are people that cannot, uh, cannot hold a job down, that can't think 15 minutes of, ahead of what they're going to do, really what what their life is all about, how you how you sustain yourself, how you feed yourself. So, you know, that's why society, that's why we, in and yourself and the other agencies, we have to kick in because there are people that really do need help. And and like I said, somebody serves on that line, they feed somebody. Later on, three o'clock in the afternoon, he's walking around town and he smiles and he says, "Wow, that's felt good." <laughs> so he made not only the person who he gave food to, but he made himself feel good. And I think. Feeling good all the way around is, is a great thing. So. It, it certainly is. <clears throat> and, you know, we got to remember in these economic times that we're living in, uh, more, most people are just one paycheck away from being in that situation where they might have to lean on a social uh, food agency in order to meet their needs. That's for sure. And I, I think one of the... Um estimates were if, if somebody's refrigerator broke down, they wouldn't have enough money in the, in the bank account to actually replace the refrigerator. And you know, there is so much money in, 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 in the United States that it's just a shame that it's not spread out like it should be. Um, so, like I said, if, if you have a heart and you, have, and you, and you have, can stand on your own two feet, 
go out there and help somebody. Make it make yourself feel good. Make somebody else feel good. Make society a better place. We got to be uh, honest about the situation because, but for the grace of God, there go I. That's right. So, coming at you here from the Litchfield Community Center, George. Tell your beautiful wife Candy I said hello. And Jack, always a pleasure to work with you. And again, uh, Jack was instrumental, Danny instrumental in, in getting us some funds for the soup kitchen through his uh, CD album. Um, what would we call it? Uh, what was the album at that particular time? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone through so much. Anyway, we, we were very happy to have been recipients of that money. So thank well, you, Jack. It's always a pleasure working with you, George. And uh, let's hook up after the show. We <laughs> <laughs> we do like the laugh. Yeah, we do like the laugh. We like to have a good time, okay? Okay. So you guys stay tuned. We've got some more great interviews coming to you right here from the Litchfield Community Center celebrating fish, friends, and service to humanity. See